Hey, it's Walt, K4 OGO. It's a wonderful weekend morning. I'm off work today, so I'm gonna play a little uh, radio. And you know what, I've got a new toy I'm gonna play with. It is the True SDX, the nice little handheld. These things are real popular right now. And um, it's, this thing is a joint uh, open source kit build from DL2MAN and PE1NNZ. Uh, a lot of people have built these. Uh, you've seen them around right now. Like I said, they're very popular. I bought mine from an approved seller that they list on their website, and um, I've, I've made one QSO on it. This morning I got up, calibrated it, hooked it up to my home vertical antenna, and made a QSO to Australia right off the bat with five watts. So I'm real excited to get out here today and see what this thing will do portable. So uh, there are a lot of videos out there that show you how to build it and how to calibrate it and all that. This isn't one of them. This is a video to show you how awesome this thing is when you actually use it. So stick around. Before I went out and went portable, I only had to make one adjustment, and that was just calibrating the frequency. It was slightly off. To do that, I hooked up my home uh, antenna to this thing. After hearing a QSO on my uh, home base, I immediately hooked this thing up to the same antenna and then tuned into that frequency, and uh, it worked out great. One cool thing about it is the QSO I heard was a QSO involving vk4ka in australia so i had to naturally try to make contact and wow i did immediately he came right back and uh i'd really like to thank Corey for uh validating and confirming the qso so honestly this thing worked great with my uh home power which was 13.8 volts and my base vertical antenna which is a sigma Eurocom. HF360 that I have over top of a metal roof right out my back window here on my house. Let's go uh, check this thing out and show you how I set it up portable. So here's the setup today. It's Norfolk, Virginia across the harbor from me there. I'm using my Slidewinder coil, Slidewinder DX coil, the Manpack military whip, foldable collapsible whip. Have that going. Doing something a little different today. I purchased a grounding wire a piece of 25 foot bare copper grounding wire so I'm just running one piece of uh, bare copper into the harbor there and um, we're gonna see how that works but as I've stated in other videos this leads right out to the Atlantic Ocean so salinity level is really high here and uh, that helps me greatly with the ground plane there's the coax and here we go there it is the true SDX I've got it there with a portable little speaker this thing needs a speaker to really be able to hear it outside and I'm powering it today with my LifePo 4 battery let's get to work see if we can make some contacts well Kilo 4 Oscar Gulf Oscar I'm happy to report that you made a signal trip to Bermuda and uh, I've got you here with your 5 watts uh, into VT9 in November November on the eastern end of Bermuda right Oh, roger that, roger that. You guys were so strong, all of you have been listening in there. You guys were all 5, 9, plus 10 here. You're just sounding great. <laughs> Take care of the QRP. I got to get out and uh, play with my uh, X6100 when I get a chance and see if I can make it across the ocean here. All the best to you, my friend. God bless. Have a great weekend. I got to run. Kilo 4, Oscar, Gulf Oscar. This is VP9, November, November, 73. Hey, 73 there, thanks for coming back real quick. Just wanted to see if this thing would work. I really appreciate it. 73, my friend. Working for you. I'll catch you later. Well, there you go. Just came down here making a quick QSO with that thing. And, uh, hey, it works well. Looking forward to really uh, spending some time with it, uh, getting a little bit more comfortable with it, working on the settings a little bit, and um, taking it on the beach. That'll be fun, too, with uh, maybe some different antennas. But, uh, hey, I love this thing. Can't wait to play with it some more. It's really cool. If uh, you're looking for one, hey, go get one. Definitely. It's, it's what a cool little radio. I enjoyed it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate your, uh, your support, supporting this channel and, and, uh, and watching. So if you've enjoyed my videos, uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, until next time, I'm Walt K4 OGO 73.